Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Word tutorial. In this tutorial we will be learning about how to work with Format Painter. So what I did in my letter, I gave some headings in my letter. Like the first paragraph I gave a heading personal, the second paragraph I gave a heading of work related, the third one I called property related, and the fourth one which is on the next page I called current home. Now what I want to do is I applied some formatting to this first heading personal. I gave it a color, I changed its style, I gave it an effect, I changed the font name, the font size, all of these properties I applied. I want to apply the same set of properties to all the other headings that I've given in my letter like work related, property related, and um, current home. I don't ever remember all the properties if I want to apply the same set of properties from one text to the other. Just like you can copy the text, you can also copy the properties and that's done with the help of an uh, option called Format Painter. The first thing that you need to do is you need to select the text that has the source um, format. Then you click Format Painter in the clipboard. Then you bring the mouse in the line with the text on which you need to apply. Either you can press down the left click hold the left click and select the text all the way through on which you want to apply. Notice you still see the paintbrush symbol and then when you let go it takes the effect. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it and this approach is usually taken if you would like uh, a portion of a text on a line to take the effect but not the entire line. But as you notice my headings are the only thing on, the, the, on that line so I could actually use the other approach as well. So let me select the Format Painter again. This time I can bring my Format Painter in the line of the property related. And as, you, as I go in the margin, okay, you can see it change from I-beam to a pointer because I'm in, the, in, in, in line with margin. And as I click now, it will still apply the property. So now let's do it for the last time. And now I can pick any one of them. For example, if I now pick this one and apply Format Painter, and go down to the next page and click in the line of current home I could still apply to the current home as well so this is how you work with a format painter is you can apply that now let's say if I want to replace this 4000 with a different value so what I can do now is let's say I'm here at the beginning of the document and I'm in the home tab I scroll to, um, on the right hand side I have options of find replace and select in the editing group so I click the replace option and I type I would like to replace 4000 with 4500 as I click replace or replace all replace means only replace the first occurrence replace all means replace all occurrences if I click replace all in this case either way we're only gonna do one replacement as it tells me that one item is replaced in your document I said okay click OK click close and let's scroll down to where I had my 4000 before and notice it has now been changed to 4500 so that's how you can be using the replace option well that's all for this tutorial for now catch you in the next tutorial